Hello everyone, we are going to discuss about the anti-arrhythmia drugs. When defined, arrhythmia refers to the loss of rhythm of the heartbeat where it either beats too quickly, too slowly, or with an irregular pattern. It is a condition that is needed to attend to since it may lead to excess strain on heart and also impair normal circulation. Hence, antiarrhythmic drugs are given to treat or to prevent abnormal heartbeats or arrhythmias. There are a few types of arrhythmia. First is sinus bradycardia. It is a type of slow heartbeat. There is a special group of cells that begins the signal to start the heartbeat, which is in the sinoatrial node. Normally, the SA node fires the signal at about 60 to 100 times per minute at rest. However, in the sinus bradycardia, the node fires less than 60 times per minute. Next is the sinus tachycardia. It is when your body sends out electrical signals to make the heart beat faster. It usually occurs during heart exercise, anxiety, or by using certain drugs. When it happens for no reason, it is called inappropriate sinus tachycardia. In sinus tachycardia, it has a high sinus rate of 100 to 180 beats per minute. Another arrhythmia is the atrial tachycardia. It is a series of three or more consecutive atrial premature beats occurring at a frequency of more than 100 per minute. This is usually due to abnormal focus within the atria and paroxysmal in nature. Hence, this type of rhythm includes paroxysmal atrial tachycardia. Next is the atrial flutter. This type of arrhythmia occurs when a short circuit in the heart causes the upper chambers to pump very rapidly at a sinus rate of 250 to 350 beats per minute. Another one is the atrial fibrillation. It refers to the very rapid contractions or twitching of the heart muscle, specifically in the atria. The ventricles will then contract more rapidly than normal. However, the rhythm may be either regular or irregular. Most of the time, atrial fibrillation in dogs occurs secondary to heart disease. Next is the junctional escape rhythm. It is characterized by QRS complexes of morphology identical to that of sinus rhythm without preceding P waves. Sinoatrial node suppression can result in AV node generated rhythm of 40 to 60 beats per minute. Next is the AV blocks. It is a conduction block within the AV node that impairs impulse conduction from the atria to the ventricles. Next is the supraventricular tachycardia. It is usually caused by re-entry currents within the atria or between ventricles and atria, producing high heart rates of 140 to 250. It occurs when rapid electrical impulses are generated outside the SA node, causing a fast heart rate. This can occur in the heart muscle of the atria or within the AV node. The rapid impulses may occur periodically or be sustained for long periods of time, causing damage to the heart. Another one is the ventricular premature beats. VPB is an extra heartbeat resulting from abnormal electrical activation originating in the ventricles before a normal heartbeat would occur. It is caused by ectopic ventricular foci and is characterized by widened QRS. Hence, electrocardiography is used to make the diagnosis. Next is the ventricular tachycardia. It occurs when the lower chamber of the heart beats too fast to pump well and the body doesn't receive enough oxygenated blood. Ventricular tachycardia can be life-threatening where a high ventricular rate caused by aberrant ventricular automaticity or by intraventricular re-entry. It can either be sustained or non-sustained and is characterized by widened QRS with a rate of 100 to 200 beats per minute. Ventricular flutter it is a ventricular depolarization with more than 200 beats per minute. 
Another one is the ventricular fibrillation. It is the uncoordinated ventricular depolarization. Both ventricular flutter and ventricular fibrillation are the lethal arrhythmias characterized by chaotic, disorganized electrical activity that results in failure of sequential cardiac contraction and inability to maintain cardiac output. Next is the ventricular fibrille first degree AV nodal block. It is a condition of abnormally slow conduction through the AV node. It is defined by ECG changes that include PR interval of greater than 0.2 without disruption of atrial to ventricular conduction. This can be caused by enhanced vagal tone, digitalis, beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, or ischemic damage. This condition is generally asymptomatic and discovered only on routine ECG. Next to first degree AV nodal block is the second degree AV nodal block. The conduction velocity is low to the point where sub impulses from the atria cannot pass through the AV node. This can result in P waves that are not followed by QRS complexes. For example, one or two P waves may occur alone before one is followed by a QRS. When the QRS follows the P wave, the PR interval is increased. In this type of block, the ventricular rhythm will be less than the sinus rhythm. This can be observed in normal dogs, especially in puppies 8 to 11 weeks of age. Next is the third degree AV nodal block. The conduction through the AV node is completely blocked so that no impulses are able to be transmitted from the atria to the ventricles. The low heart rate causes decreased blood flow to the brain, lungs, and body. This is a life-threatening condition that requires immediate medical attention.